Are you looking for a way to power your Raspberry Pi on an existing PoE network? Well then stick around to learn about two PoE Texas Pi Head options for your Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or Raspberry Pi 4. We love to test new devices and experiment with new setups, and we know our viewers do too. We've also seen a lot of interest for customizing your own Raspberry Pi project. So we decided to combine those two concepts and bring you not one, but two PoE Pi hats that allow you to power your RPi 3B Plus or RPi 4 using power over Ethernet. The GAF Pi hat is an active PoE version and our PoE Pi hat is a passive version. Let's take a look. This is our GAF Pi hat. It's designed to fit the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or Raspberry Pi 4. It works with any 802.3 AF PoE switch or 48 volt injector, but please note this is designed to work with active PoE only on mode A. It's smaller and more space efficient than the official Pi hat and optocoupled with flyback topology to prevent shorting the board. This splitter is also fanless and increases efficiency above 90% for DC to DC conversion. The maximum output current is 270 milliamps at 5 volts. It can also pass through up to gigabit data rate. Another component that's included is this heatsink. Don't forget to check out the online user manual linked in the description box of this video. For today's demonstration, I'll be using the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. But don't worry, there's another video coming later this month using the Raspberry Pi 4. Just a quick clip to show where the heatsink would go. We designed this new PoE Pi hat to be simple to install and set up. All you'll need to do is orient the correct pins on the Pi, then press down fully. And that's it! Your Raspberry Pi board can now be powered by PoE. One thing you will notice is that this GAF Pi hat covers GPIO pins 1 through 6. However, there is a 5 volt solder point if you need it. In this clip, you'll see that the GAF Pi hat fits nicely and securely into the official Raspberry Pi enclosure. For my active PSE today, I'll be using our AT8 active 8 port injector. I already brought data in on the LAN port, so now let's go ahead and run a cable for our output PoE. The next step is simply to connect your output PoE power into the RJ45 port on the Raspberry Pi and watch the board start up immediately. Please note that this Pi hat is only rated for 12.9 watts. If you plan to load down the process or plug in devices into all USB ports, you might find closer to a 15 watt power draw. So please contact our customer success team for a better recommendation. Now we can test for the output power. For this demonstration, I'm just going to run a male micro USB adapter to a 2.1 millimeter DC cable. As you can see on the screen, the Raspberry Pi is now outputting 5 volts. Now let's take a look at our passive option, the PoE Pi Hat. This PoE Pi Hat also fits the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and our Pi 4. 
However, it works with passive PoE injectors only from 15 to 56 volts. It is also compatible with 12 volts, but you must limit your power output to 2.4 amps. The PoE Pi Hat provides a regulated 5 volts, 2.4 amps output with solder pads on top for a DC bus. It's ideal for integration with solar and battery systems, and this one is also optocoupled with flyback topology to help prevent shorting of the board. The power input for this splitter is supported on mode B for pins 4, 5, 7, and 8, and also passes through up to gigabit data rate. The PoE Pi Hat comes with the heat sink as well. The PT GPOE 1B 48 volt 15 watt will be our passive mode B injector option for this demonstration. The PoE Pi Hat will also fit securely inside the official Raspberry Pi case. Time to connect it. This passive model is also designed to be plug and play. I'm going to run my patch cable from the PoE output port on my injector into the input RJ45 on the Pi board. Once connected, you'll see that the board does power on immediately. And remember, we're also passing through gigabit data speeds. I'm using the same male micro USB connector to a 2.1 DC cable to demonstrate that we're still getting output 5 volts from this passive Pi Hat option. That does it for today, everyone, but thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to also hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload. Interested in other types of videos? Leave us a comment to let us know what you'd rather see. And don't forget to follow us on our other channels too. We post to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and now Reddit. Check out our POE Connect thread to join the conversation. See y'all next time.